Hello everybody, Frankie Day here again. Okay guys, uh, this video is kind of unprecedented until I, until I ran into another project I got to finish up, which won't take a long couple days here and there maybe. Um, there will be an online build night for the victor. I promise you that. But right now, I'm finishing up this kit behind me. Now I got this back in 19, I think it's 1959. I think I, think I got that for a, for a Christmas present. And uh, the kit came out at the time. And uh, a lot of you fellas out there are no strangers to this, uh, this kit. This is a vintage kit. This is the original release of this kit. It was a very beautiful kit. So my goal was to make my, make my cutting sword look exactly like that on the picture, which I did. And I've been working on this thing, guys. I kid you not. I've been working on this thing for over 50 years, straight off and on. And all I got to do is just do the running rigging on the mizzen mist, make rope coils, add some crew figures, and she's done. <coughs> so, excuse me, guys. Okay, we'll sing around the ears truly over here, and uh, before we take a, a nice sneak peek at the cutting sock over here, I got her here next to me, and she's so, she's, and believe you guys, believe you me, guys, this thing is pristine shape, is, is as if I went through a time machine Took me back to 1959. I mean, this, this thing is in immaculate condition. I was really, uh, I, was, I was astounded that you keep these things in boxes and uh, you wrap them up real well, nice and gently, and keep keep them out of harm's way. These things last forever, guys. I, I, I'm not kidding you not. And I was really amazed. This thing is in pristine shape as it is. It's as if I just, as I just uh, quit building it. I think the last time I worked on this thing, uh, 1982, I was still in the service, came over from leave. Uh, I think, uh, yeah, around 1982, over 36, 37, 36, 35 years ago, 34 years ago, somewhere around there in that, in, in that vicinity of years, but over 30 years. It's just... My hands are picked up after I left off, and it's just like as if I just walked out the model last night and going back to work on today. So right here, we'll take a peek at the cutty sock here, guys. This is the mighty Ravel Wonder cutty sock right here, as you can see. I got this baseboard I made a long time ago. I had it done. It's all varnish. You can see how shiny it is. We'll zoom in a little bit here, guys. You can see all the rigging on this thing I've done. I took my time with this thing, guys. I try to make this thing quite different, quite apart from most. 196 uh, reveal cutty sarks that you see on YouTube, you can see on the internet. This thing here is just one of kind. I just I just duplicated this thing exactly right off the box top because that box top really sold the model. This was a master model at one time, fellas. This was one of the first of the Ravel 196 scale master modeler series. And at that time, these kits were not made for the beginner. I mean, these things were actually made for a person that had some experience. And for a plastic kit, guys, it's not bad. It's, it's really not a bad kit. But it's fragile as hell. you got to be very careful, especially around the bowsprit area. And also a dolphin striker down below. And uh, we'll go a little closer here. I got all like all the headgear done on it, as you can see. Got the running rigging, tackle going all the way up to the mast band, all the way down to the blading pins. Now, I got a bunch of foot ropes I made up for those, which I'll be adding on this model when it's done. You can see the, 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 the galley house right there where the first long boat's at. Going aft. You can see all the complexity of the rigging this thing has. This is a square rig clipper, guys. The mighty Cutty Sark, the most beautiful Cutty Sark clipper ship there ever was. And for her day, she was a very beautiful, very fast ship. There was still controversy going over today over her arch rival, the uh, the Aberdeen line, the uh, Thermopylae, when they had a great race. But, but the Thermopylae ran into some problems. They had a, they lost this rudder. And I put it behind the race on the Kaiser, although she was gaining. 
and uh, so they had a jury rig for our new rudder system that um, they put up like after going through a, a gale. And the cutting saw took the took the the cock, the the main the uh, the main prize as a china clip, a very extreme clip where she was. And uh, so she resided in Greenwich, England for for years, ever since the uh, 1920s when they found out they did some, what, had longer, she was a, a victim of her time of the era of the great clipper ships. Uh, her, her hull is, not, is made of iron, but it actually it's uh, veneered with uh, wood and also copper sheathing down below. Now, to my horror, I found out probably about 10 years ago or a little more that the, the kites are caught in fire. And I said, oh my God. And I said, that's, that's the, the, the pride of England right there. I mean, it's not having something like that happen, you know. And I guess a careless painter or a maintenance man had some paint laying around and caught the fire and boom. Well, believe you me, when you got a wooden clipper ship like this, uh, fire loves wood. And most of the, uh, the original structures of the kit uh, of, the, of the ship itself was destroyed due to fire. So I think they got it refinished again. I, I don't know. I really haven't checked on the cutting saw. As a matter of fact, since I'm on the cutting saw kick right now and get this thing done, I may go on YouTube and venture around and see if they, uh, how much progress they have done on restoring the uh, clip the cutting saw after that horrible fire that she had. That's horrible, guys, having something like that happen to a beautiful ship like that. Something that's history. The Cutting Sark is probably one of my favorite clippers. Although you've got a lot of beautiful clippers out there, like the Flying Cloud, Young America, and the list goes on and on. But these things here were very, uh, a very beautiful ship the Cutting Sark was. And Ravel, when they, uh, when they uh, produced this model, no stones were uncovered when they did that. They, everything was... Everything was uh, scaled right down to the nines, making this model a very unique model. Now this kit here came with a pre-painted pre hull. Now that copper you see, as we zoom in a little more, the richest material of that copper. I was going to go ahead and uh, and uh, antique it by using leaf green paint and white and immerse it with turpentine, but I decided not to. I like that copper. That's the first thing that really turned me on in this kit when I got it back in 1959 when I opened up this box on like Christmas morning. I seen this thing came with a pre-painted hull, so man, it's a pity to paint this thing over again. It's a pity to paint the whole darn hull, the whole darn hull. So you know what I did, fellas? I didn't paint the hull at all. The only thing I painted on the hull was the white trim. As you see on the first strake of the rubbing rail. From all the way forward aft. That was masked off, done with a paintbrush. The war line was painted white, masked off the, uh, the copper area, and left a little bit on the hull and painted it white. And I put about uh, 11 coats of gloss paint, a polyurethane, on this hull. And that gives it the illusion that this thing's been painted. This thing is very detailed. It's a very beautiful ship, guys. I mean, I really, I love this ship. This is it's a very beautiful ship. The decks were all, uh, I think they were uh, air they were airbrushed. First thing I did, I airbrushed them with black paint, flat black. Let it dry. After it dried, they gave it a coat of a dull coat. After that tester dull coat dried, I went ahead and airbrushed on some, some teak wood. And with a nice SOS Brillo pad with all the soap off of it, I rubbed across that deck right there and bring out the wooden planks as you can see on the forecastle right there. We'll see if we can find some detail on that forecastle right there, guys. I think I should uh, focus up here in a minute, guys. These cameras here is like a human eyeballs. It takes a while for it to focus up. Let me back off a little bit. Maybe I got too hastily close. There we go. If I just go in slow, it will focus more. Yeah, you guys probably can see it. You can see it right across the, 
the whole the whole deck is like that. So that's a tip right there. We're dealing with these things here. You got to paint the deck black first to go ahead and make sure that black is sealed off by using a dull coat, not a, not a, not a gloss coat, but a dull coat. Then go ahead and airbrush your teak wood. When it dries, take a billow pad and just run back and forth. And you'll see those planks show up like it does this here. Okay, guys. Uh, that about does it. That's going to be the introduction of the finish up and build. So it's a sin to have something like this laying around, guys, not getting finished up. You guys see my point? So I'm going to finish this girl up. It may take a couple days, but I will make an online video of the Victor. And I will do other builds with this too. But my uh, right now concentration is to get this thing finished. I got another spot where I'm going to put this at. This goes on top of our dresser. My wife loves this cutty sark. And uh, so do I. Okay, guys, I'll see you in the camp back to your shortly finish of the video. All right, fellas, I'm going to upload this thing here and I'm going to go ahead and uh, prepare for the online build of the vector. So that's coming up in a couple hours from now. So. I went down below and got the laundry going for my wife, and uh, I got to tidy up my workspace out here. It's really cluttered. It's driving me bug house, and I need to prepare my workspace for this cutting so I can get her done. And I, and, I, and uh, all the hard parts over, guys. I got all the block, all the tackle, all the blocks are on the yards and everything. All they got to do is just rig it up. So that's a that's a good ace. That's a good. I set myself up pretty right there, and I'm very happy. So let's go thinking ahead. <laughs> okay, guys, thank, thank you ahead. I'm going to thank you ahead about getting this video up uploaded and uh, prepare for the online build. Okay, guys, this is Frankie Day signing off, and God bless you guys. Make Mama happy again. Please subscribe. And I'm going to go ahead and start turning two on this kite so I can get the, uh, and get the yards uh, all rigged, get, get this thing all done. And uh, get her done. Okay, guys, I'm out of here. God bless you, fellas. Thank you, boys.